what we have here is a valve cover for a customer that was sent to us that he wanted his uh, own artwork put on. So we wrote a program in our offline cam system and uh, set this up to cut and lo and behold it's not even remotely flat. So I thought I was in real trouble uh, until I remembered that the Datron had a Z correction field option in it, which I thought ironically that I was never going to use. Um, but if you want to take a look at uh, what we have here, as we run this indicator back and forth, you can see there we're off 10, 15, and you know we're maxed out on the indicator there, so it's about 20 thousandths of an inch of variation. Uh, just in that one zone, right where the engraving is going to go. So originally I thought the only way out of this for me was going to be to go into the CMM, digitize the surface on the CMM, create a, an actual surface model, project my engraving onto the surface model, then write a program for that. And I could get it done that way, but I'd have to do that for every one of these valve covers, and I have eight of them. So it was going to be a big deal. It would have taken a one-day job to probably a week job uh, to get all these things done. So we're going to uh, pause right now. We're going to set this up and, uh, and get ready to map out our Z-correction field. So I'm going to set up now, uh, map out the Z-correction field uh, for this wavy surface on top of this valve cover. Uh, it's really simple to do. I've already got my tool positioned over my X and Y origin that I have set. And I'm just going to go in here, my correction field parameters. And this is the size of the correction field that I want mapped. So we're going to go 6 inches in X, uh, 1.4 inches in Y. This is my reference, which is basically a work offset, uh, or offset position uh, for the size of this rectangle that we're going to map out. So the tool is right in the center. So if we're doing a 6 inch in X, we're going to offset uh, our reference at 3 inches. And the same thing in Y, we're going to go exactly half in Y, because the tool right now is in the middle of that correction field we want to map out. So matrix distance is exactly that. Uh, for the purposes of this video, we're going to bump this up to 0.5. And Z movement is just your total stroke on the tool. And we're going to move up to a half inch when all is said and done. Uh, we have a tolerance set of 20 thousandths. If something comes out of 20 thousandths, it'll abort. And we're ready to go. field is all mapped and we're ready to start our program. So again this was a program that was written offline uh, in our offline cam software and it was all programmed to cut at, uh, at a Z of zero and it works down to a total of six thousandths of an inch deep. So you can tell with the deviation uh, as off as far as it was on that surface with us only going six thousandths of an inch deep uh, we would have had an area that was very deep and some spots are an area that, you know, it blended out to nothing and, uh, and a lot of the rest of it, depending on where you set your Z0. So in this application here, the Z correction field really saved my butt. <laughs> so we're going to start this program. And you can see here, I'll just pause this for a second. You see here, our Z correction field is active. Datron gives you that nice message there. change and alter the Z values based on that map. 